Are you looking to purchase that domain that you've always wanted to build out your first website or to build out your online presence, but you actually don't know where to go to actually purchase your domain name? There's so many options in this day and age, uh, which is the right place to actually go and purchase that domain. Stay with me in this video because I'm gonna be talking about how to craft your domain name if you haven't done already, that's right for you and your business. Then we're going to be looking at where to go, the best places to actually go to purchase domain names. And then we're going to be looking at some of the common mistakes that I see and that it's common in the marketplace when actual, actually purchasing your domain and building out your website. So hi there, Tim here. And I do get a lot of questions on which tools that you should use to build an online business. So what I've done is I've actually listed uh, all the tools that I use to build out this business in a simple checklist for you to download for free and head on over if you want a copy of that head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash tools and it's a simple pdf checklist download that see which ones you're using see which ones you're not and then you can start to grow your business from there but in this video i want to get super practical with you i'm going to be jumping on over into my computer to show you exactly what i would do if i was purchasing another domain so here we are in my desktop and i would just simply start with google so i would simply google how to get a domain name and see what happens here so the first ad that shows up and the this isn't necessarily the the best choice this is the company that's spending the most on ads and you have to ask yourself how can they afford to spend the most on ads they may not be the cheapest they may actually be one of the most expensive companies and more on that later but don't just click on the first one you see. So there's, there's GoDaddy here, there's 123 there's domain.com. But what I wanna focus on initially is what is your keyword? What is the thing that you do? If you can articulate that in a, one keyword or two keywords or three keywords, then we're gonna be starting there. That is a starting point for you to actually see if that domain is available. Now, don't get too cute. Don't try and smash two words together. Um, as you can see, there are a few um, few mistakes when that happens. So Pen Island Pens or penisland.net, and yeah, you can you can actually interpret that how you want. You can read it something different, but try not to have a domain name where you have to spell it out to people. If it's really hard to actually say or really hard to spell, it's going to be a little bit cumbersome later on down the line when you're actually typing out your email or you're going back to your homepage. You just want something short and succinct, but actually showcase exactly what you do. So which domain registrar should you choose? As you can see, we've just done a quick Google search and it's spat out quite a number of different results. Don't just go with the domain registrar that you have heard of before or the biggest company or the one with the highest ad placement. Uh, have a look into all of these. So I've got a, go a short list here of GoDaddy, and Namecheap and 123reg in the UK here. Have a look, see if you enjoy the user interface, see if you like the layout. Have a look just to see if they provide a support network. And if you are looking to do like website and, and hosting onwards from that and, and email, have a look to see if they provide that too. And also use the search function on the platform. It's gonna be pretty similar to the results that other platforms spit out, but the prices might differ dramatically. But ultimately, once you register your domain name with one of these registrars, you own it or more accurately, you rent it for a certain amount of time. So it's usually on a year on year basis. So if I was living in London and I was a plumber, I would probably go London. A London plumber is exactly what it says on the tin. See if there is London plumber. Londonplumber.co.uk is that domain is actually taken. No surprises there londonplumbers.co.uk is actually available but just have a look at your competition just to see what domain would suit you try not to confuse your domain with another domain which you'll be confusing a website with another website and actually confusing your services with their services each of these registrars will give you uh, an alternative uh, or a different um, top level domain so .co.uk or dot rentals.store.foundation, have a look through. And there are a few things that I would point out with any of these domain registrars uh, to avoid doing. So some of the big mistakes that I see and I would avoid doing when purchasing a domain name is take a look at the, the price. So GoDaddy usually promotes a really good 
uh, year one price, so 99 cents. But then year on year after that, it's 11.99. So it's higher on year on year. I would try and avoid purchasing any premiums. I mean, premium prices, this is 69.99. It's not cheap, but it's not so expensive. If you had something coming up like 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, I would really avoid these premium domains, especially if you're just starting out and you are a small business owner, you're not gonna see that return on investment. So try and tweak your domain or make it more succinct to you and your business and try and get the, the cheap domain because all you need to do right now is set up your website and so you can drive traffic to that website. And also for that top level domain, if you are in the UK, uh, I would either advise getting a .co.uk or getting the more common .com top level domain if that is available. So I'm just gonna take you through a real quick exercise. I've actually put the London plumber in the search bar here for GoDaddy. I'm gonna take you through this exercise of actually adding it to the cart. It looks good at 99 cents, but let's go and continue to cart um, because I can see it's 11.99. So the next page that GoDaddy show you is all the upsells. So it's trying to upsell you for domain protection. Now there are a number of other domain registrars that actually include domain protection in their annual price. This is why GoDaddy are so cheap initially off the bat, and they're trying to upsell you domain protection, which is another $9.99 per year, or ultimate domain protection, whatever that is, is an extra $14.99. So that's up to down from $29.99. And then they've got all of the other upsells. So just be careful, even if you can afford that 99 cents at the start, don't fall for all of the other upsells. What I would recommend is I would um, go and I buy all my domains through Google because I use uh, Google Workspace in terms of email, in terms of Drive and Calendar, and everything that you purchase through Google Domains actually comes with full protection. So whereas it might be $10 or $12 for the first year and the second year, you get everything included with this package. So I'm gonna take you into my Google account and just show you around. So this is my Google Domains, and so I've purchased uh, timpeatman.com, and I've actually purchased timpeatman.co.uk. Really, really simple. Uh, we can go into each of these, and this is actually the, the workspace that I purchased with timpeatman.com. The other one is just a simple redirect. And I like the Google Domains user interface. I like the Google Domains chat support. And again, I am planning to use all of Google Workspace in terms of email and, and hosting. So you can have a look down. It links straight into, into my website. Um, it links up with my email and this is one that um, I have the warm fuzzy feeling that Google has my back. So I use this for all of my domains and any future domains. I just come to domains.google.com and I purchase them through here. And that's it. Hopefully this video has helped you identify the right domain name for you, how to craft it for you and your business, where to go to actually look for the domain names and purchase using a domain registrar and some of the mistakes to avoid when purchasing your domain name. And that link once more, head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash tools to get your free PDF download. It's a simple checklist that I've compiled that actually lists all of the tools that I use to run my online business. So go ahead, download that now and take note of those. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.